Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Father, we thank you for New Zealand. We thank you, O oh God, for this great south land of the Holy Spirit. I thank you, O oh God, that we are standing on a holy crown. Because your awesome presence is in the house. Father, we thank you that darkness shall cover the earth, cross darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon his people, and the glory of the Lord shall be seen upon us. Father, we thank you. Tonight, we thank you, you are the great I am. You are the God of Abraham, you are the God of Isaac, and you are the God of Jacob. Oh God, there is none likened unto the God of Israel. And tonight, oh God, we stand in awe of your presence, Lord. And we thank you, Father. For unto him shall the gathering of his people be. I thank you tonight as we gather here tonight in this incredible week. As we celebrate your great love. Oh, redemption of mankind. That you gave Jesus to die so we walk free in your name. I thank you tonight for freedom. Jesus, you came to set us free. We give you all the honor and all the glory because you deserve it all. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. What an incredible. <clears throat> oh, presence of the Lord. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, Jesse, for your kind invitation to come. And it is my honor to be here tonight and to be part of the open of Fedungila here in New Zealand. I live on the Gold Coast with my husband, Sterling. We have four boys and 12 grandchildren. I come from Tonga, <laughs> but I have lived overseas for 50 years and involved in the ministry with mainly Balangi people, but I am just so excited to be here with you all. Greeting for my husband and my church, Hillsong Church on the Gold Coast, which we serve. And um, I am just so blessed to be here with Jesse and Nisi and the team here. And they are incredible, incredible. Women of God that God is raising up for these last days. Amen. Greatest thing, and as I was sitting there listening to all the items, and how blessed are we to have such gifted people, young people, in our midst tonight. And I feel a whisper of heaven. Jesus said, I'm building my church. And the gates of hell shall not, amen, he's building his church, don't you worry about that, amen, our job is to love Jesus, our job is to reflect him on the earth, our job to behold his glory, 
David said, as I behold him face to face, I shall be satisfied when I'm awakened into his likeness. When you and I love one another, that's awakened the likeness of God. When we speak well of each other, awaken in the likeness of God. Amen. Sometimes we more worry about the church. Stop it. I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Jesus said, when you love one another, the world will know that you belong to me. It's not what we build on the earth for him. The only commandment he gave, love one another and the whole earth will know you belong to me. Amen. It's all about that. I have no idea. This is not my message. Hallelujah. Jesus is building his church. And the glorious. And the Bible said when he come, he will present here to the Father, spotless, without wrinkles. Ha <laughs> ha. He is building his church. And he has given the church a gift. And that is the person of the Holy Ghost. You're going to receive power. And after that, he will come. Amen. And you and I will be filled with the power from on high. <laughs> to do that which he called us to do. Great testimony. Just a powerful. Ho, oh, the grace of the Lord. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. The Bible said that the Lord is spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And he said that you're going to behold me like in the mirror, the image of God. Because when you look into the mirror, you're going to see yourself son of the most high God. Can you stand? And the word of God said, and you're going to be transformed from glory to glory. From one level of the glory to the next. God is going to lift you up. How beautiful are the feet of him who bring good news. You are going to step in to a level of the anointing. And there is an anointing that the Holy Ghost is pouring upon your life right now. And that is for service. And you're going to be one. That will not only bring the word of the Lord, but you're going to lay hand upon the sick. You're going to have a ministry of signs and wonders. The Bible said in, in Isaiah chapter 8 verse 18, my children and I, sons and daughters, we're going to be signs and wonders in the land. And there is so much more. That God is unfolding for your life. But hear ye the word of the Lord. God is calling for obedience. Obedience. And it's going to be so much that you go through. And God it will call for obedience. And there are things that you're going to walk through. And God said, I will cause you to walk this way that when I bring you in you're going to remember that I the Lord has done it when you receive gold and silver build your own home 
And God said, and you're going to forget me, but I will cause you to walk this way. Deuteronomy 8, that when I bring you in, you remember that I, the Lord, has done it. Bright future ahead. But let your ears hear the voice of the Father. If you are be obedient and willing, you shall eat the fruit of the land. Amen. I like you. <laughs> Stand your Bible with me to Samuel, Second Samuel, chapter five, and I'm going to read it from verse twenty. Second Samuel, chapter five, and verse twenty. The Lord has broken through my enemies before me, like a breaking through of waters. And therefore, he called the name of the place Baal Barasim. It means the Lord is the God of the breakthrough. I entitled my message tonight, Expecting Supernatural Breakthrough. Expecting Supernatural Breakthrough. The word breakthrough means that beyond and above the natural. How many of us here tonight we like to go beyond and above the natural? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Breakthrough is beyond the reach of science and beyond human expectation. Breakthrough is unmeasurable, undefinable, and unexplainable. The Bible said in Colossians that by him, by Jesus, all things were created that are in heaven, that are on the earth, whether they are, the Bible said, whether they are visible or invisible, whether they thrones or dominions, principality, all power, all things were created through him and for him. Everybody should feel excited about that. Right? Everything on the earth was created for him. Either principality or power, dominions, everything on the earth was created through him and for him. The supernatural, I'm just laying a foundation here for my word. The supernatural is the space that God operates from. Supernatural is where heaven touches earth. It's the realm of the in interaction between God and and men. Amen? Do you like that? It's the space where God operates from. Amen? Expect supernatural breakthrough. I wonder how many of us here this tonight that you're expecting a supernatural breakthrough in your life this year. I declare 2024 in my ministry is the year of the breakthrough. Amen. It's the year of the breakthrough. We need to start to see God move on our behalf. Amen. But we need to start to expect God to do it. You know, expectation is the gateway to a miracle. Expectation helps bring heavens to earth. Expectation is the seedbed of faith. Dare to believe that God Beyond your reasoning. Just dare to believe God. Dare to believe that he is the God of the impossible. How many of us can believe that? You know, whatever you're facing today, he is the God of the impossible. Dare to believe that God 
things are bigger than I can ever imagine. Amen? Which God, all things are possible. One of the saddest verses I read in the Bible, just me personally, is in Psalm 78. And verse 41, it says this, Again and again, they limited the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember his power in the day that he redeemed them from the enemy. Again and again, they limited the Holy One of Israel. What is limiting you here tonight? What is limiting you here tonight? All of us here tonight, what is limiting you? Because the word of God said again and again, they limited the Holy One of Israel. You know, unbelief can limit what God can do. Amen? Our unbelief. We're talking about expecting supernatural breakthrough. Okay? And the Bible said that Jesus, he did not perform many miracles there because of their unbelief. So tonight, I believe we need to understand that we limit God by not expecting him to move on our behalf. We limit God by not remembering the power in the person of the Holy Ghost. We are limiting him because we don't believe that God can do it. Amen? But the Bible said that God watches over his word. So friends, tonight, I want to exhort you and encourage you here. Let's believe that God is able. Let's believe for a breakthrough. Amen. Let's believe that tonight is going to be, this year is going to be my year of breakthrough. Amen. Fully expecting God to move. Let your faith run wild. How many can say that? I'm going to let my faith run wild. Let your faith run wild. Amen. God is saying you're skirting around the mountain, but it's time to get up and move forward. There is so much more. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is so upon your life for more. God is anointing your hands for more. David said, blessed be the Lord, my rock, who teaches my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Amen. God is going to give you keys how to unlock and move in expecting supernatural miracle and breakthrough while you play. You're the one that play, eh? Yes. Hello. Get up. Stand up, please. There is so much your life. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who teaches my hands for war and my fingers. Because when you start to... Oh, hello. I forgot the mic. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. When you start to play, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit of the Lord will come upon you. Don't be limited. Again and again, they limited the Holy One of Israel. God wants you to step, step out. Step out. Step out. Just step out. Because there is so much more than you playing the keyboard. God is training your hands for war. And you're going to be one that will break through. Bring breakthrough to people. Not only people, but God said you're going to break through to your own life. Yeah. There are things that you're crying out to God for. God said, expect supernatural breakthrough in your life. Because there is so much, much more that he has for your life. God opened his eyes to see, to behold the greatness. Ho! Oh! Of his inheritance in the saints. 
open the eyes of his heart. Oh God, there is so much more. There is an anointing to create wealth. And I just release that into your life tonight. In Jesus' mighty name. Let your faith run wild. Some of us here tonight, we need to step out of the boat. Stop sitting in it. <laughs> Jesus is calling you to step out. Yes. Just get out of the boat. Yes. Amen? Amen? Step out. Dare to believe God. Just have a go. You can't go under for going over. Remember that you and God make a majority in every situation. How many can say amen to that? Amen. 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 Second Kings chapter 2. Elijah. You know, the servant came to him. We're surrounded by the enemy. How many of us are overwhelmed by the enemy? Oh God, we're going to die. Oh, the bills is more than what I can pay. We can't afford the mortgage this month. Oh my gosh, there's a funeral. In Tonga, we have so many kavenga. Can someone say amen to that? It's kavenga. You know, whoever writing song, we should be writing a song about that. Kavenga here, kavenga there, kavenga everywhere. Right? You feel like you just can't get a break. Amen? And it was like with Elijah. When the young man came and say, prophet, we are surrounded by the enemies. I'm just so overwhelmed. I don't think I can breathe anymore. How many of us, we work and work and work. At the end of the day, we don't have enough money for anything. Because we always seem to not have enough. Hey? And here he was. He was overwhelmed by the enemy. And the prophet start to pray, Lord, this is my prayer over everyone here tonight. Oh, Lord, open his eyes to see. Open his eyes to see. May, he, may the Lord open his eyes to see. And the, the Bible said that the seven saw God open his eyes and he saw the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire beyond the natural. Amen. The seven saw into the supernatural realm. And I really believe tonight, my prayer, that God opened their eyes to see. To see the supernatural. To see he is our El Shaddai. He is the God of more than enough. Amen. He is my provider. He is my protector. He is the one that fight the battle for me. That the battle is not mine, it's the Lord. Amen. Expecting supernatural breakthrough is putting your faith and your trust in the God that is bigger than you and I, the creator of heaven and earth. Amen. Faith, stepping into the realm of faith, is calling those things which be not as though they are. Amen. When I started uh, my ministry many years ago, we didn't have any budget for the church. They um, said, yeah, 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 go, go, go with the ministry, women ministry, but we give you no budget. <laughs> Let your faith run wild. It's calling those things which be not as though they were. So I changed women of purpose become a group of women that are loaded. So we start to go up. Instead of going to camping ground, I booked them into a five-star hotel to go and do our camp there. It's calling those things which be not 
as though they were. You can't move in faith and stay in the same level. You dare to step out of the boat. You dare to take a step toward the almighty God. And I said, no longer we're going to camping ground for camp for the women. We're going to a five-star hotel. And when speaker come there, oh my gosh, how can you afford this? I said, because we are loaded. <laughs> we, we have absolutely no money, right? But we are loaded. And they said, can you pray for me? Did I be loaded? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And, um, and it's amazing. So I used to walk around and I used to hear, I said, thank you all for coming. This ministry is so wealthy beyond what you can ever imagine. Yeah, what you can imagine. <laughs> we start to do unusual thing. You're not just declaring it, but you're walking in it. Amen. So we go five star hotel. Invited speaker from America. It's gonna be twenty thousand. I thought get a life. Um, <laughs> so we start to do things, and you know what happened? It start to flow, and it flow, and it's flow, and it's still flowing. It's declaring things that you do not see. Faith is stepping out and calling them in. Father, we thank you for this house. It's abundant. The people are over, <laughs> overflowing out the window, out the door. Do you know what I mean? Let your faith run wild. This is your season. This is your day. And I hear the Father saying, what do you want? You are only limited, but what in your heart? What do you want? You know, it's a word that I hear in a lot of places right now. You know, when Aksa came to her father, Caleb, when she got off the donkey, Caleb approached her and Caleb said, what do you want? What do you want? For both of you, what do you want? What do you want? And she said, Father, you already given me an inheritance. But I ask you for the lowest stream. What is he doing? She's asking for more. And God said, you need to ask for more. And Caleb said, not only I give you the lower, but I also will give you the upper. It's a day of the double portion. God said, ask. Sons and daughter, what do you want? What do you want? And I think what you want, you need to speak in. There's nothing too big for the Lord because God is not broke. He is so not broke, right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. My prayer tonight that the Lord will open our eyes to see clearly. You know, that is the eyes of faith. That our eyes are open to see the legends of heaven. That we see the chariots of fire. That we are, they are with us. That we understand clearly and we will see the supernatural God our breakthrough is possible when we expect to see God stepping in to our world amen he is the Lord of the breakthrough and tonight I pray that God will open our eyes <laughs> To see the God of the breakthrough. Amen. And today we will learn some powerful example tonight from the word of God of supernatural breakthrough in people's lives. The Lord of the breakthrough. How many here say, Father, count me in. I need a breakthrough in my life. I need a breakthrough over my family. I need a breakthrough of our finance. I need a breakthrough in my body. Amen. I need a breakthrough on my relationship to others. Amen. Expect a supernatural 
breakthrough. Point number one. We are going to touch on two tonight. And uh, I am just so excited to be here. Do you know what? 5.40 in the morning, I'll be on my plane on the way back home to the Gold Coast. So I'm just so excited to spend tonight and just sharing the word of the Lord with you. And um, we're going somewhere. Say to your neighbor, we're going somewhere tonight. Nobody talking. Whisper to your neighbor, we are going somewhere tonight. Amen. <laughs> Expecting supernatural breakthrough in your health. How many here need a, a supernatural breakthrough in your health? Amen. Matthew chapter 9, verse 20, 22. And suddenly a woman who had flow of blood for 12 years came behind and touched the hem of his garment. For she said to herself, if only I may touch his garment, I shall be made well. But Jesus stand around and when he saw her, he said, be of good courage because your faith has made you whole. Amen. The story of this woman, she's been 12 years, she go to every doctor. She has spent all her saving, all her money looking for help and just could not find help. And the Bible said she came to Jesus. She pushed through, we're talking about breakthrough. You know, this woman was unclean because of the issue of uh, issues of blood. You go in the book of Leviticus, anyone that had that problem in their life were put out of the camp and they declare unclean. Every, everywhere she lay is unclean. Where she sat is unclean. She will not be able to come to this meeting because she is qualified as an unclean person. So she was to be put outside. Can you imagine that for yourself? Amen. And the Bible said that she pushed through. She pushed through the crowd. She pushed through. And she said to herself, if only I can touch the hem of his garment, that I will be made whole. And as she pushed through, the Bible said there were people everywhere. How many of you tonight... You are looking for breakthrough, but you do in Paris to push through. You know, just keep coming. Just keep going. Just keep knocking. Just keep knocking. Just keep knocking. The Bible said, he said to herself, if I only can touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. The Bible said this. When she touch him, that Jesus then around. I want, I want to say to everyone here tonight, when you push through for your breakthrough, when you push through for the miracle for your health, when you push through, when everything seems so impossible in the natural, Jesus is here. The Bible says he touched the hem of his garment that caused Jesus to turn. How many love that? Oh, oh, he touched me. And all the joy that flooded my soul, something happened and now I know that Jesus touched me. And he made me whole. The Bible says that Jesus turned. And he looked. Can you imagine how she felt? I'm unclean. I don't deserve this. But all I know, if only I can touch the hem of his garment. And the Bible said 
that Jesus turned around and looked at her. And he said, daughter, your faith has made you whole. Amen. Even when we are in a place that we feel so weak, we have no energy. I want to encourage you tonight. Just keep reaching out to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Expect supernatural breakthrough in your health. Because I promise you, Jesus is there. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I love that. I absolutely love that. Amen. How many of us like to do that? Father, I'm pushing through. Can you come? Yeah. Yep. Hallelujah. Shidiya ba 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 ba. Hallelujah. You need to break through. You need to push through. Amen. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is not to cause you to hide away, but it's a day for your breakthrough. Amen. God sees you. He sees the cry of your heart. For the enemy come to rob, to steal, and to destroy. But I want to say to you today that Jesus sees you. Amen. I'm standing. I'm not sure what you're going through right now. But all I know, your breakthrough is here. Come. Hallelujah. Father, come and stand behind. Thank you. You turn around. Turn, turn to me. And I'm going to pray. Jesse, would you like to come? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We are believing. We are expecting. Nisi, come. Come to the front, girls. Hallelujah. We are expecting a miracle over your life. Hallelujah. We are expecting a miracle over your life. Father, we take authority over whatever she's going through right now. And we speak the name that is above every name. It's the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we release the authority and the power in that name upon her life tonight, Lord. And command everything in her body to come into alignment in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for the fire of the Holy Ghost flowing through her being right now. And we declare victory. Oh, please. Just relax. Breathe him in. Touch him. And make her whole. In Jesus' mighty name, pray for her. Hallelujah. Expecting. Expecting, expecting a supernatural breakthrough. Amen. The Bible said, Amen. Supernatural breakthrough is a divine encounter where God, I want you to listen to it, where God reverse, God dance and shift our health around. Amen. He reverse the order. God is able to turn your health around. He will turn your mourning into dancing, your sorrow into joy. And I want to ask you this question, what is stopping you from pushing through for your miracle? What is stopping you what is stopping you? You know, David, this first scripture I read out, David said, how many enjoyed this scripture? He said, the Lord has broken through my enemies before me like a breaking through of water. Amen. God is mighty. He wants to break through into your life right now. He is the God of the breakthrough. Amen. Number two, expecting supernatural breakthrough in your finance. How many here tonight 
you like a supernatural breakthrough in your finance. Two people. Two people here need a miracle, a breakthrough in their finance. Amen? Amen. See, God can help until we recognize that we need it. Amen? A supernatural breakthrough. I like it in your Bible. To Luke chapter 5, verse 5. I know the time is running short. When he stopped speaking, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for, the, for a catch. But Simon answered and they said to him, Master, we have toiled all night and we caught nothing. How many here you feel like you've been toiling all night? Working, 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 toiling all night and we caught nothing. Oh, Lord, it's been a long season of working hard, trying hard, and we caught nothing. Expecting supernatural breakthrough in your finance is about hearing and doing. Hearing, hearing what God is saying. You know, yes, Jesus, at your word, I will let down the net. Be the response when he heard, yes, Lord, at your word, I will obey and let down the net. They did what Jesus said. You know, one thing about Jesus saying something is another thing about us taking action of what, what Jesus is saying. Amen. Jesus said, pick up the net and put it on the other side. And sometimes we don't just quite get that. We just stay the same. And you're wondering why year after year after year we don't see anything happen. But Jesus said to be the big up the net and throw the other side. They have been fishing all night and haven't caught anything. So they did not feel casting out the net again. You know, sometimes it doesn't make sense. Sometimes it does not make sense. What God require of you to do. And he thought, God, I have no money. God, I, I have no ability. Oh, God, I, I don't do. But, you know, obedience is the key for this whole season. Mary said at the, at the wedding in Cana, just whatever he said, just do it. Just whatever he said, do it. All right? And when Jesus spoke to Peter, he heard the word of the Lord and he did it. And what happened? They experienced a net breaking, boat sing sinking abundance. That is supernatural financial breakthrough. God is looking for obedience. It is harvest time, season of abundance. There are supernatural breakthrough in the midst of what is happening right now. There is a abundance of harvest, abundance of the harvest. But are we ready? Is your boat ready? Are you ready for the abundance? Are you ready for what God is about to bring into your life? Amen? And here is the disciple. They owe taxes, they owe money to the government. And Jesus came along and said, pick up your net and put it to the other side. You know, when God speaks to us, it's simple, easy. But sometimes it's too easy for us to think it's God. Amen? Expecting a supernatural breakthrough in your finance. The Bible said the, the catch was that much. They need partners. Do you know in this hour we need to partner up? We need to partner with other ministry. We need to partner. But I want to say this, partner with the right people 
that are in your business. They didn't get off the boat and go out looking for someone else on the street. No, no, no. They were looking. They were calling other boats. They partnered with those that already in there. They partnered with that one. Oh, yeah. I'll partner with you. We did something supernatural in Tonga when the eruption happened. My ministry is called Women of Courage on a go Coast. And we can do this little much, this little thing. I thought we'd back up three boxes for send to family and went from there to 11. All of a sudden, Convoy of Hope got in touch with me, partnering. All right? And out of our 11 boxes came two 40 foot containers, plane load, and money. Partnership. Okay? I really believe that some of you here tonight, you need to partner up. But be careful who you partner with. Okay? You need to be careful who you partner with. Partner with people that are in a boat with you. Amen? Discover them by spirit. Discover them by spirit. Because sometimes they look all right on the outside, but they're rotten in the inside. Oh, so sorry, Jesse. Right? They are just bad news. Okay? It's great to find the right partner and discover them by spirit. Father, is this the right partner for me? Amen? When we partner with Convoy of Hope, you know, Julie and Julia, we're assistant pastor in Hillsong Jet. Incredible couple. You know, 40 foot container of, it was not hard. How many do we need? I went, <laughs> hallelujah. Because the resources is there. I want to encourage you here today. Try about the breakthrough with finance. Expect supernatural breakthrough for your finance. As I said before, God is not broke. Amen. Amen. The word of the Lord for the rebuilding of the, de- of the temple was this. Silver and gold are mine, saith the Lord. Yes. You arise and work. Yes. Okay? Money always follow vision. Yes. Amen? You declare it out there yes. and just go after it. Because God said, everything on the earth is mine, saith the Lord. You know, the glory of God is to conceal a matter, but the glory of the king is to search it out. God, abundance is for you and I to extend the kingdom on the earth. Expect a supernatural breakthrough for your life, for your family, for your church, for this nation of New Zealand. Father, we thank you that you are the God of the breakthrough. And I just speak breakthrough over every single person here tonight, Lord. May they know the Lord of the breakthrough in Jesus' name. Jesse, thank you for your kind invitation. Amen. Hallelujah. Tifeng a mali en un dogu lo pe ku a full ma lo lo a ka ona a foke ve fine ta ya feng a mali ka mo tol mo fe ma halot he pon hange ko me na ba he ba he ke a ta pe ke mo ha ki mo a he pon ma feng a mali ke ne pa lo fi ta tu a ke lot ka mo to haleluya hi va pe fa nau a ta pe ka ta ha ko fe ma lo tu ke ai me a ku Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He touched me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
Jesus.